saw there, and this is number 15, the video number 15, so it's a tutorial from the channel, and this time we'll talk about how to deal with big amounts of data, huge data on uh, Excel worksheets, and how to merge them together and create a relationship, and using uh, the power pivot table, then you bring it back to the pivot table, then set the KPI, key performance indicator, and at first you might not have the power pivot table, the power pivot activated. If you don't have it, go to the file, go to the options, file and options, and go to add-ins. If you go to add-ins, there is Excel add-ins and there is COM add-ins. Go to COM add-ins, click go. Here it's activated for me. Microsoft Map, Power Pivot for Excel. You can click uh, after you select it, go OK. And if it doesn't show up, you can uh, just uh, close or restart the Excel or just to close it and open again. So now, if we want to make a pivot table, that includes, includes uh, two sheets and some relation between like uh, customer ID and order ID. This is how we do it. We go into insert and as a pivot table, as a simple only one sheet, you go to insert and pivot table. Now I will make power pivot, which is uh, two sheets. We make a relation between them. Add to data model. It's a preparing. Sometimes it will stop because there's no enough uh, enough processing memory in your computer. So you just close the applications and use the Excel only. So we got the first table, which is which is customer info. Now order info. We will just Go to it, go to the order info, add to data model. You see it has been added now. To create a relation between two columns, between two different sheets, <clears throat> click inside the sheet and go to the view. Do it as a diagram view. It will show you the columns on each sheet. Uh, to make a relation, don't use that to create a relation in the design like this one. No, this is easier. You want customer ID with order ID or customer ID with, let's say, yeah, customer ID and order ID. This is the first relation. And you can select more relations like uh, contact name and ship name I'm able to create you know, because it introduces a relation flow between the following tables order info okay so where's the order info order date okay Let's use the fright country and the fright. It's not taking another company name, ship country. Okay, we'll make a relation this way. Then we go back to the data view. Now, after this relation, let's see what we can do now a pivot table from here. We can transfer it to pivot table, add it in new worksheet. It will take you back to the Excel, not to the Excel add as a power as a power pivot. Click OK, name it. Let's say power pivot. Power pivot. Okay, click here. You will see the order info. There's the table. 
Now, <clears throat> as you, as we say, we can cre create a relationship between them. This is how you. This is the way to include all of them inside one pivot table. Now let's use the KPI, Key Performance Indicators. Let's sum the the price. Auto sum. Let's use average. It made an average for it. Now just create a KPI. KPI. Let's reverse it. So it's over 80. It's red. Make it 90. 40 is now 60 is the yellow. Let's do it 55. Here you can. Okay, we just select it. We select the whole price, and we did average for it. Now, after the average. Oh, we added the profit sum for it. Let's do create KPI. Now, from here you can you can include the average one or two is the same. I, would, I just did it twice. Or you can choose an absolute value. 100 or 300. So you change the numbers. I'll just keep it as 100. And measure for the average of price. You can change it from here. You can change it. I will just reverse it. Okay. Now it created the KPI. Now you can go back to the to the table, add the price, add the order ID, and go to the tables, customer ID, relationship between tables may be needed. Auto detect detection done on your relationship now. Okay. Now you want to activate the the KPI, the key performance indicator. Click on the status. It will show you. Okay, it's all in red. Some of the price, some of the price, and this is how you make it. This is how you control. The relationships and in one moment. Let's go back to play with the KPI to add it to edit it. Let's go back to the power pivot. Go back here. Let's add the average. That's what we needed. The oh, we added this for the sum of the price. Okay. Now I will do one for the average. Now for the average, create a which average is this? Number two. Create the KPI measure. Okay, it's already made for this one. Okay. Target field with measures. Average. Activate the auto detect. And the average. Show me the status for it. It's over 78, which is almost right. But we reversed it. Okay, let's just keep it this way. Okay. 
Now let's go back to the table. Let's see the other one. This is how you make the KPIs. And uh, we talked about how to activate the power pivot, how to insert data, like two sheets in one in one pivot table. This is table one as shown here. And this is all the info as shown here. These are two sheets in one pivot table. Okay. Now let's clear those. Let's clear everything. As as you might you might want to do like uh, have two columns, order ID, customer ID, employee ID, and countries. Table one, customer ID with order ID. Okay, this is the relation. So, what was the country with the columns? This is how you arrange it. This is how you make you add uh, different columns in the table for the for the countries. If you want, if you want to bring it back, it becomes included in the name of the customer. Anton is everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Yeah, just play with it, try it, and make sure you get familiar with that. Just to be fast enough when you want to do something because nobody would like to wait. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and learn something from this learn the power pivot and how to deal with too much data and within inside the Excel. And thank you for watching and please subscribe for the channel.